Hi YouTube, as you can see, sun shining again after that really heavy thunderstorm this afternoon. Uh, this video is just an update about wheel arches, boxing them out, and storage. Because uh, in the last video, Ben commented that they look pretty ugly, which they do. And I think it's a little cause to worry about the coldness that you'll get coming from these guys. So what I did was I made this box. Get him out. So yeah. So technically, it's a polystyrene box, and I've stuck or well, recycled the panelling out the van actually because. I didn't think it worth buying plywood to line this out because uh, when it's in you won't see it again uh, but that's what I've done I got the idea from an American guy that does actually furniture like this uh, paper mache style polystyrene and meshing and yeah, that sort of stuff. So, let me climb in. <coughs> so that's what it looks like. I'm not sure if I'm happy with it or not. Does the purpose. I might have to put some soft insulation in there. Uh, just to block out the cold because I think these things will be... Uh, a magnet for the cold and on the IV here daily that's in the middle of your van and another comment that Ben made was if the fishing rods stick out there he's going to stand on them well you won't Ben because where that bit of wood is the plan is then is to box all that out and use one of these IKEA drawers pull in out that way so, was I worried about having enough storage? Uh, well, not really, because I think storage is just a matter of how much you want to need to take with you. So, I've got the sun behind me here. I'm not sure if you're going to see all this right. But So, as you can see, I do quite like boxes. Uh, if I've got a fetish, I do, over the years, camping with Ben, uh, I've collected quite a few. And if you can see there, there's quite a lot. And I can get in a bit closer. I hope you can see it because the sun's behind me. That plastic box there is 70 litres. I think the aluminium box on top is a 60 litre. And I think the bottom one there is 40. That one's probably 50 ish. That one's probably 30. This plastic one is 42 litres. And this big job here. Uh, I've got given that. That's a really good, really strong box. The plan is to mount that on the back doors externally. So have I got enough storage? I think, I think so, yeah. And you can see that's where the fishing rods are stored. So the plan is then is to box all this out up here across the top and there'll still be room underneath that drawer then for the fishing guy gear and I don't think this box will be in here so this space here will be all free but you can see the garage is pretty big and I suppose you should be worrying about 
and what you're going to pack in here because it is behind the back axles so obviously a really heavy weight behind there is probably not good for driving but uh, I think I've got enough storage I don't need to worry I think I could go away for 12 months and still have room okay if you leave a comment please if you think those wheel arch boxing out stuff is okay because I think that's probably the first mistake I've made where I'm going to be doing something again uh, I think on that side I won't do this because it annoys you a little bit because it takes up a lot of room I think I might try and do that a little bit more flatter over the wheel arch just to save the space because uh, there is a bit of dead space in there which is in a van obviously is prime you don't waste a couple of square centimeters if you can get away with it okay that's it leave a comment if you like them give them a thumbs down and I'll I'll probably scrap that because like I said it hasn't cost me nothing I think two euro for the polystyrene uh, and the paint I had the glue I had the plywood came out of the walls of the van so it's just cost me uh, a Saturday <laughs> okay till next time bye